Ahoy mateys and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up the House of the Dead 4 on Launchbox. This will also show you how to set up TechnoParrot on Launchbox too. Before you get started I want you to click on the like button, pulverize the subscribe button, and oh so gently touch the bell for future videos like this. Let's get started by downloading TechnoParrot. Type in TechnoParrot download and click the first link. Link provided below. Download TechnoParrot. Export the contents of the folder to a location on your computer. Close out of both windows. Type in Demule Shooter Download. Click on the first link. Link provided below. Download Demule Shooter and extract the contents to a new folder. Open up your TechnoParrot folder and create a new folder called ROMs. Any ROMs you download will need to be placed in this location. Now open up your Demo Shooter GUI, execute, and make sure your light gun is set as your Player 1 configuration. For two light guns, you will need to set up the AimTrack software. This software will allow you to create two IDs for both guns. Link provided below. Create a new text document called HOTD4. Type demonstrator.execute dash target equals Lineberg dash ROM equals HOTD4. Then save the document as a .bat file. Close out of the Demi Shooter folder and open the TechnoParrot folder and run TechnoParrot UI.execute. Click the three lines at the top left and select Add Game. Navigate down to the House of the Dead 4 and add game. Go into the game settings and click just below the game executable. Most likely the ROM you download will be the same file structure as the one you're seeing now. Go into the ROMs folder you created in TechnoParrot and navigate to this location. You can change the resolution in this location as well. Uncheck General Windowed if you want the game to be in full screen mode. Now you can go into the controller setup and set up your buttons. I'm just going to set up number one key as coin and number two as start. If you're setting this up on an arcade, you can select your coin and start buttons instead. Close out of TechnoParent and open LaunchBox. Click on Settings, Tools, Import, ROM Files. Click Next, Add Files. Now 
Navigate to your HOTD4 ROMs folder and create a new text document called The House of the Dead 4 and click Open. Next. For the platform, choose Arcade. Next. We will need to set up TechnoParrot. Click Add. Set the emulator name to TechnoParrot. Navigate to TechnoParrot folder and select TechnoParrot UI.execute. For the default command line parameter, type dash dash profile equals. Now go up to the associated platforms, click inside the associated platforms and type TechnoParrot. For default command line parameters, type dash dash profile equals. Check the box next to the default emulator and then OK. Click Next. Click Use Files in their current location, then Next. 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 And Finish. After the game imports, right-click on the game and select Edit. Under Additional Apps, click Add Application. Type Demio Shooter under the application name. Now under Applications Path, browse to the HOTD4-BAT file you created earlier and then open. Check the box for automatically run before main application. Click OK. Under Launching tab, browse to the HOD4M.ELF in your HOTD4 ROMs folder. And open. On the Emulation tab, click the checkbox for Use Custom Command Line Parameters. Type dash dash profile equals HOTD4.XML. Click OK. Now you're ready to play. I can't lie, setting this up the first time was a major pain in the ass. Um, it took quite a bit of time, a lot of research to find out how to get this exactly set up. It wasn't that straightforward for me, so I hope this video helps you guys out. If you have any questions, just post them below and I will get to them and answer them as fast as I can. Thanks for watching. Arr <laughs>